Hey guys, Zuljin here, and welcome to Rock. Rock. I guess that's how you say it. Hope you guys are doing well. This is a Mars survival game. That's right, a multiplayer survival sandbox game set on Mars. Uh, rooted in scientific and realistic anticipation. With deep crafting and building system, enjoy the red planet as your sandbox. That's what we intend to do. I played a little bit on one of the servers that uh, we have for early access. And uh, there's no NDA, so I'm going to share my experience with you guys. Here we go. All right. We have spawned in after a short loading screen. And it looks like we are around an abandon or the wreckage of a, a Moore's base, so to speak. So I know a little bit about the game because I've played a little bit. There's these crates that you can find here and there. And you get all of these materials from them that you can use uh, to craft tools and things like that. We have a basic tool already. We have a screwdriver. You can left click to melee. So you can stab. You can shank dudes with it. And um, and when we not sexist, we'll shank a chick too if they if they step to us, you know. Uh, we also have the ability to craft items when you right click on it. So I want to create a pickaxe here, and to create a pickaxe, we're gonna need a medium rod and a small spike. So we should have this to start in our inventory: medium rod and a small spike. There we go. No, I don't want to do that. That is a small spike. Yeah, craft. There we go, and we should be able to craft that. There's our progress bar. And bam, all right, so now we have a pickaxe. We should be able to get raw materials while we run around a little bit. So there's harvestable nodes that you can find here and there. At the lower right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see there's oxygen, food, water, battery or energy and radiation. It also shows the temperature and the radiation and the pressure uh, that we're under. Not to make a video, pressure as in atmospheric pressure, I'm sure. But you can come up to these little things over here and you can press E when you're close enough and they just refill your energy. Um, and you can collect batteries and stuff like that to add to that energy pool as well as find oxygen in some of these crates. Uh, I do have a flashlight too. Ta-da! And a jetpack, as all Martian explorers should have. Uh, there's also some other tools that we can craft. So that's what we're going to be looking for. There's the ability to craft items um, like the bars and the rods um, from raw resources, which you can mine with a pickaxe. Um, and there, uh, that's a hammer and the ability to repair items with a wrench, which I still have yet to been able to figure out. The interface is a little bit different, but... Um, so these orange crates have supplies in them, like if I can get close enough to it. Uh, it seems like they need to work with that a little bit. If I had some feedback, that's what it would be. Uh, also, that beeping sound. I know that means there's a chest nearby, but sheesh, it sounds like a sonar. Just cut it out. We can see the green bl uh, glowing light. Maybe that'll help with like hidden uh, features and stuff like that. Let's open this up. Why is it so buggy just to open it up? Come on, man. We got dried mangoes. Oh, yeah. I love dried mangoes. They're delicious. Um, mm -hmm, another one. What kind of goodies do we have on here? Open up drinking water. We'll take that. That's all very necessary and nice. Okay, so... From what I know about the game, after reading the little um, document that they were given, well, that they, that was given to me, <laughs> uh, we can explore further south, and the atmospheric conditions get harsher, or more harsh, I should say. This is a resource node, and let's see what we get from it. We get nickel. So I know the durability of the items go down as you get stuff, right? Uh, so what we need is enough malleable material to make a hammer so that we can use this material um, to craft components like we've been finding in the orange crates. So let's see if we can work with that really quickly. Uh, we'll go to the screwdriver and right click and then select hammer. So the hammer needs one bar and one small rod. Uh, we should have that, I do believe. Uh, let's see, a small bar. Uh-huh. Uh, only one of those is what we need, and uh, an NV rod, uh, no, we need uh, an S rod, 
So those are different types of materials, and we do not have an S-rod yet. Can we use, oh, actually S-rod, yes. It can be made of whatever. So NV, I guess, is the materials that it's made from. I'm not too sure how that goes yet, but there we go. So we'll be able to craft a hammer. And the material that we've been getting, this nickel, uh, we should be able to access this and craft components with the hammer now. So if I right click on the hammer, yeah, so we have all this list of things that we can make from it. So the other tools that we need are like a crowbar and a wrench, I do believe. So let's see what we need for those specifically. I'll access that with the screwdriver again. So the wrench, I'm going to need a medium rod and a small rod. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. A medium rod and a small rod. We'll select hammer again. We'll select medium rod and we'll drag our material over, our nickel, and we'll craft that. There we go, the medium rod is crafting. Very good, very good. And where is the small rod? Right here. We have to take that out and put it in inventory. And then the small rod, we craft that. and we should be able to craft a wrench as well. And the last thing is a crowbar that we need to do. Now our battery's getting a little low, so we'll have to get to a battery station in a moment here. So let's craft this really quickly. Wrench. And there's also a level two, a tier two assembly tool, uh, but I think we need some pretty advanced stuff to get to that. Uh, so let's see, the medium rod, nickel, and the small rod, there we go. Craft it. Beautiful. Now we have a full arsenal of tools except for the crowbar. Okay, and the crowbar I think allows you to, let's see what it says, allows you to be salvaged from items that you own. Additionally, allows you for broken items that you do not own to be salvaged. Aha, uh -huh. so when we go to like um, abandoned stuff. Uh, so we need a, two spikes Two small spikes and a medium rod for this. Let's switch to the hammer. Two small spikes and a medium rod. Uh, small spikes. Two. Craft. There we go. Two small spikes and a medium rod. Beautiful. And you can see the durability on my tools is slowly going down here. All right. Medium rod, craft, beautiful. How much nickel do I have left? Probably not that much, I've been using the hell out of it, right? All right, there we go. Okay, and now we're set up. Let's just go back to, not that, the screwdriver. Select crowbar, uh-oh, 50% battery, uh-huh. Okay, medium rod. Two spikes and craft. Beautiful. So now I'm going to have a full set of tools ready to go explore in the world. All right. Now let's go find a uh, let's go find a battery pack really quick. I know there's some around. I know there's one up there too, but there's they're kind of all over the place. So uh, let's go ahead and take these bars. So we could sprint. I have a jet pack here as well. Yeah, there. that looks like a, um, a little battery deal there. 44 battery. Man, you need to get some Duracells, bruh. These cheap imitation things you got going on ain't really good. All right, we got 100 now. We're going to need to find some more oxygen pretty soon as well. But right now, I'm just, I want to go further. Uh, let's grab these bars. So you can build a base too. You just need to get more materials. Um, I've worked with the repair tool before and I couldn't really figure it out. So I might try that a little bit, but I'm not gonna do it to the point that I'm frustrated again, especially when you can make another one. Look at the meteorites that are shooting. I wonder what happens when you get hit by a meteorite. No, we're not gonna go and get hit by a meteorite. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, give me this crate. Give me this crate. Emergency screwdriver. Yeah, good. So that means we won't have to make another one. We'll just be able to open it up. 
Uh, can I get up here? What is that? Hello, delicious. Are you? Oh, what are you? Um, let's mine, let's poke it and see what happens. That is iron. Uh, that seems good. Uh huh. <laughs> right on, man. Iron, huh? We gonna swing at you until our pickaxe is broken, I guess. Oh my God, the meteors. Alright, so weird enough in my, my wrench. Oh my god, you see the... Okay, hold on. Holy crap! That hurt! <laughs> I think... <laughs> I don't know if that hurt or not. <laughs> Let's get the hell away from there, though. So, I was in this, this wrench configuration here, and it looks like the material that we need, we don't have to repair. So you see how it says NV here? There are some items that are marked NV, like the bars that I just picked up. Uh, but we need spikes and rods to do this. So since my pickaxe is totally broken, I think I'm just going to craft another one. That's probably the best thing to do, right? Pickaxe. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. So a medium rod and a small spike. Because we can, we can continually do that. I got a ton of iron to do that. Um, oh, to do that we need to access the hammer. Okay. Medium rod, small spike. We can go ahead and make one of these, and small spike. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's the way you do it, y'all. That's the way you do it. Okay. And now we select our tool again. Right click. Um pickaxe, one rod. Now we can use different materials like the iron that I just got to craft as well, these components. I just crafted with nickel because I already had it. And 510 iron, that's pretty good. And with all of the new pickaxe goodness that we have, we could actually go back and mine that iron some more if we wanted to. But I think exploration is going to be where I want to go from here. So let's explore, shall we? Well, this is kind of new. I don't know exactly what it is, but we're going to hit it and find out. This is water. So apparently this is ice. Well, this is nice to know. There's water on Mars, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move there now. <laughs> I don't know about wearing a spacesuit for the rest of my life and eating dipping Dots instead of, like, meat and stuff. There's no game or anything on the island. Or on the island, I say, on the planet. <laughs> so, not that I've seen, so I don't know if I would want to live here for any extended period of time. Can we just mine straight up stone? No. It looks like we would need to, um, to just mine resources to be able to use whatever we want. I like the fact that there's screwdrivers lying all over the planet, though. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, hello. What we got? What do we have? Oh, you know what? I had my flashlight on the whole time. That's why my battery was dying. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, I'm thinking that we should probably try to set up a habitat of some sort sooner or later. Uh, now that we have the basic requirements for that, we can get around some nodes that, like, let's see. There's just water nodes right here. If we were to craft, like... If we were to get around maybe an iron node or a nickel node, I think that would be pretty good to start building like a little spot, you know. So here's another iron node, and we are in the vicinity of a couple of other um, types of nodes. Maybe now is the time we should look at crafting uh, some of those components for building. So these are building tiles. Tiles are building blocks of a habitat. Tiles can be placed adjacently, uh, to <laughs> adjacently to other structural objects and can create sealed spaces. Many other objects can be attached to the surface of a tile. This part has a long crafting duration. 
Okay, so if we were to craft this, it just takes, let's, let's make it out of iron, shall we? Since we have a ton of that already. And uh, we'll make, I don't know, let's make 10 of these. There we go. All right, so we've gotten the building materials. And now we can just, how, oh, I see. This seems relatively small, doesn't it? Well, they connect to each other pretty easy. Man, this seems extremely small. All right, so we're going to need a lot more than 10 for this. Holy crap. So I've been at this a little while, and I've determined that <laughs> as much materials as I can gather and stuff, it really is tedious to build a habitat. Like, this is as far as I've got. I've wasted almost all the iron, and I've went to two picks already. So if I had to say anything about balancing right now, this is really something. So you can pick up these building tiles with the crowbar equipped, and Alt-E for more options. I guess that allows you to salvage. Um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna specifically do that. I know that you can salvage stuff too, like um, wreckage that you find. So I think I'm gonna pick this up and explore a little bit more since my oxygen is getting extremely low and so is my energy. So we've made it back to the original spawn, or at least where we came in at, and I think this is probably where it would be the easiest place to like I guess supply and stuff like that because one there's a battery charger right here which I was very very low on but it really still promotes you to be able to explore because I don't have any oxygen right now or in the means of making it so without a habitat it's kinda hard to <laughs> set up far away from this spot and then again you still need to find oxygen and stuff as you go unless these things actually repopulate after a little while because I've been all in this area and it seems like I've I've been here before so that should have not been active anymore unless this is a place that looks exactly like the first place I spawned in at so the pink crates is what have the oxygen I guess you would need to go back and forth and explore a little bit and grab a little bit of oxygen and move a little bit forward and and explore some more so that's that's basically the first impressions of the game you guys I don't know what to make of it yet maybe you guys can let me know what you think in the comments it still seems like an early access survival game to me which it is so that's pretty good um, the optimization on it feels pretty good like I, I didn't have any performance hits or anything naturally I have a beast of a machine but in other survival games I do get some performance hits every once in a while like in Ark, for instance um, and this game seems to run pretty darn smooth um, the it seems to me like if I had one honest piece of feedback as far as general gameplay mechanics I think the distance away from uh, these things uh, should be a little bit easier like if it highlights it seems like I should be able to access it and I can't I have to go straight up to it very very close and hit the button and it just seems like it should be a little bit more intuitive other than that maybe the repair interface should be a little bit more intuitive as well it does seem like it's a, a bit janky like when I go into the actual repair interface I'll show you guys what I'm talking about uh, where's my wrench here we go we'll go to wrench and if I hit 4 I'll right click and if I drag my pick in here for instance see it'll say that I need nickel uh, for both of these um, so if I select them meaning that I should have the nickel on me if I hit repair, it's going to take 23 out of 28, and it says successful repair. But earlier it said I needed NV, okay? And the NV, it said NV, and it had 0 out of 12 or whatever. And I wasn't sure if that was a material or whatever. So maybe if it would say amount needed here, it would be a little bit more expensive you know, it would be explained a little bit easier to do that. But for the most part, it seems like a, a, a pretty cool game. I'd like to see what else the game has to offer in exploration and stuff. But I really just wanted to give you guys a first impressions and show you how the game runs. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me some tap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. And we'll see you next time.